Good morning dear students of class 5. Students, yesterday we have done the subtopic even and odd numbers from chapter 3. Continuing yesterday's subtopic, we will start our today's class. Students, yesterday we have learnt about odd and even numbers from 1 to 10. Today, we will take numbers bigger than 10 to understand the topic odd and even numbers. Students, now we will take a two digit number 28 in order to understand the concept. I have these buttons for you. Students, here we need not to make pairs of 28 buttons. We will only take digit at one's place that is 8 and make pairs of only 8 buttons. Students, now I am placing 8 buttons in a button box. Now you count with me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 buttons form 4 pairs. So, 28 is an even number. Now, we will take a 3 digit number 175. We will only take digit at 1's place that is 5. Now, count with me and place 5 buttons in this button box. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can see that 5 does not form complete pair of buttons. So, 175 is an odd number. Now, we will take example of number 20. Now, we will make pairs of all the 20 buttons. Yesterday, we have learned that 10 is an even number. So, we will now count 10 onwards. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All the pairs are made. It means that 20 is an even number. Now we will take a 4 digit number 5864. We will only take digit at one's place that is 4. Now count with me and place 4 buttons in this button box. 1, 2, 3, 4. You can see that digit 4 form complete pairs of buttons. So 5864 is an even number. Now we will take a 4 digit number 9261. We will only take digit at one's place that is 1. Now count with me and place 1 button in this button box. 1. You can see that digit 1 do not form pair. So 9261 is an odd number. Students, still now we have learned that Numbers 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10 are even numbers because pairs are successfully made. Students, it does not matter how much greater the number is. If the digit at once place is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 then it is an even number. Students, we have also learned that all the pairs are made in even numbers and no digit is left behind. So, even number is always divided by 2 and 2 is the factor of every even number. Students, we have also learned that the numbers 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9 do not make pairs. So, they are odd numbers. We have also taken many other examples and concluded that if a digit at one's place is 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9 then it is an odd number. Students, now I will take any two even numbers. I will take two tokens and four tokens. Now count them together 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
six six tokens makes three pairs and no token is left behind that means six is an even number students this means that sum of two even numbers is always even students now i am taking any two odd numbers i am taking one token and three tokens let's count them together one two three four four tokens make two pairs no token is left behind that means four is an even number it means that sum of two odd numbers is always even students now i am taking one token from odd numbers and four tokens from even numbers and i will count them together 1 2 3 4 5 5 tokens do not make their pairs and 5 is an odd number it means that sum of even and odd numbers is always odd now it's time for your homework students you have to do question number 4 5 7 and 10 from exercise 3.1 in your notebooks thank you